Within months of taking office, Vice President Harris was assigned the difficult task of the border, checking in with Central American governments and trying to get to the root causes of immigration problems in the United States. The Trump campaign has already labeled that effort a failure, while Democrats blame the other side. That's why I've asked the Vice President of the United States yesterday to be the lead person on dealing with focusing on the fundamental reasons why people leave Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador in the first place. The assignment for Vice President Kamala Harris was to focus on what was happening south of the border in the countries from which migrants were coming. She was never actually named Border Czar. That was a moniker coined by Republicans, and it stuck. Now remember, Vice President Harris was appointed the Border Czar. Whatever happened to that? House Speaker Mike Johnson used the czar term when calling her completely inept. Vice President Harris traveled to Mexico and Guatemala in June of 2021 and in her remarks focused on economic instability, violence and corruption, telling migrants the border is not open. The goal of our work is to help Guatemalans find hope at home. At the same time, I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. Back home, Harris faced sharp criticism for not going to the border itself and bristled when pressed in an NBC News interview. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Just weeks later, Harris would visit the southern border, again telling migrants, do not come. In El Paso, she toured Border Patrol facilities and met with groups that help migrants. Again, her focus, what causes people to come in the first place? She largely left enforcement of border security to the Homeland Secretary, Alejandro Mayorkas. Over the next two years, the vice president secured more than $5 billion to address those root causes in Central America. Nearly a billion was targeted to the Central America Forward Initiative, developing jobs and women's empowerment programs in Central America. The Biden administration has deported or expelled nearly 4.5 million people, the highest for any single president since George W. Bush. Harris has agreed with criticism that our immigration system is, quote, broken, saying in March we need to fix it. But she points the blame at Senate Republicans pushed by former President Trump to kill a bipartisan border security deal. Harris said that's because former President Trump would prefer to run in a problem than to fix a problem. At the border, I'm Jim Avador.